active pressure. The active pressure can be detrimental to the stability of a retaining wall. Excessive active pressure can lead to overturning, sliding, and settlement of a retaining wall. The active pressure is normally caused by the surcharge and the soil material that retaining wall retains. The active pressure caused by the surcharge is considered as the variable actions QK and the active pressure caused by the soil material is considered as a permanent action GK. Due to the preload by the surcharge, the active pressure due to the surcharge is consistent throughout the depth of the retaining wall. As for the active pressure by the soil material, the active pressure increases along the depth of the retaining wall. The equations to calculate the active pressure is given here. The active pressure due to the surcharge is in the function of Ka times the surcharge load. As for the soil material, it is Ka times the unit weight times the depth of the retaining wall. The unit weight is obtained by multiplying the density with the gravitational coefficients 9.81. Ka here represents the active pressure coefficient. It is in the function of the internal frictional angle of the soil. The equation is given here. Under normal circumstances, the passive pressure is normally ignored in the analysis of the stability of the retaining wall. As its contributions cannot be guaranteed. In the case that the passive pressure is utilized in terms of the design, the coefficients of passive pressure is used. The equations to determine the passive pressure is similar to the equation to determine the active pressure of the earth only that the coefficient is substituted with passive pressure coefficient.